A San Antonio nurse sounded the alarm on cooling problems inside an east side nursing home elder that was housing elderly coronavirus patients. Yeah, her thanks being fired from her job. That's according to a retaliation lawsuit filed against River City Care Center by attorneys for that now former employee. We wouldn't treat a dog the way they were treating these people. If you found out that somebody had a bunch of animals in those kind of conditions, there would be outrage and we, people wouldn't stand for it. As the night team's Dylan Collier learned, the nurse wasn't the first person this summer to alert health authorities about high temperatures inside that facility. It's tonight's Defenders investigation. During the 100 degree heat of 4th of July weekend, some staff members claim that elevated room temperatures inside the River City Care Center on Nolan Street caused significant medical problems for some of its residents, two of whom, according to staff, later died. State investigators remained on site for weeks, but to date have not released details about what went wrong. And the patients are the ones that suffered. By that first week of July, this former employee, who asked that we call them Ira and conceal their voice, had already resigned, claiming they complained about air conditioning problems inside the building as far back as May, only to be ignored by River City management. Half the hallway was not working as far as the AC unit. Texas Health and Human Services records show its intake line received a complaint May 29th, alleging four violations at River City, including for its physical environment. The accusations were found to be unsubstantiated. It just makes me feel that um, that they didn't address it properly. San Antonio attorney Andrew Skemp agrees. He represents a second River City employee who made a series of reports July 4th and 5th about the lack of a working air conditioner, alerting a list of supervisors that patients had become dehydrated, were vomiting and sick. She also called 911 and Health and Human Services, according to this lawsuit filed in state district court. In it, the now former employee states that many residents were stripped down to their underwear and were laying on plastic due to the extreme heat. The response should have been to help the residents immediately and to make River City a safe environment as they're required to do by law. Instead, Skemp says the nurse was contacted before beginning her shifts the following weekend and told not to come in anymore. A spokeswoman for River City's parent company declined to comment, calling it a confidential personnel matter. The care center has now had eight COVID-related deaths since the start of the pandemic, according to state figures updated as of the end of last month. The decision to move coronavirus patients who do not require hospitalization from other nursing homes to River City has been controversial. A second facility that agreed to house residents pulled out within days because of negative publicity. Still, it appears to have been the right move. As of mid-August, the percentage of COVID deaths in congregate settings in Bear County had dropped to 13% of all people to have died from complications of the virus, a third of the national average. Not everyone is impressed. With River City specifically, it is uh, not so much that there was an outbreak of coronavirus, it was that they were not taking care of these people who were there. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. A spokeswoman for River City's parent company says overwhelmingly patients brought to the facility since April have received exceptional care and have recovered and that quote, when creative solutions in healthcare took over operation of River City last year, the facility was in need of renovation and repair. To date, we have made a substantial investment in upgrades to the facility and its infrastructure, which includes a much improved HVAC and continue to train and educate staff to ensure they are equipped to face the ongoing challenges presented by the coronavirus pandemic, end quote.